Uh, neither. Yo, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this house was on fire. <laughs> oh man, good times. Tenant just texted us and told us that uh, they ordered some DoorDash and the driver ran over their mailbox. <laughs> Police department. Rail 703, we're checking the unit. Copy, checking 703. Got a nice find here, boys. This is what you want to see when you're walking through your property. Who's going to pick that up, dude? Not me. A shopping cart with some used tires in it. Barely used. Ooh, fence looks great. Need a TV. I myself have made millions of dollars, but I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. It all ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Section 8 tenants are animals. Section 8 tenants are savages. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh, no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go, internet. There's needles there. My house, bro, and, and you're not actually paying for it. You can't be coming over here. Do it! Bro, 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 bro. Look, look, look. Knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. Damn, is that a big ass bottle of fucking Remy Martin on the counter? What? Y'all got Remy Martin money, but you don't got rent money? Fuck. <laughs> the pile grows. Yeah, no, I, I hear what you said, bro, but we can't give you any more time, right? So I got this notice. This is an eviction notice. I don't know if you ever seen one of these before. You you want to take it? Uh, this is an eviction. eviction. Yeah. So we need to have the the full. 1100 within the next three days, right? This is me serving you this notice. Hey man, you can't be showing up here like this, man. I told the guy I'd get him next next Friday. You can't be showing up. I don't know what this dude's doing over here. No, we just do we document everything just in case you know shit gets weird, bro. But hey, like, man. hey, it's all cool, bro. Just, we, we like to document everything. That's what we do. We make sure people know what's going on. But like, I understand what you're saying. Bro, we're right behind this car, young man. Uh, yeah, I guess. Hey, no, unless you want it in the front yard. Right hey, Vince. You guys got to pick it up, right? Yeah, let me... Hey, Vince. Where do you want me to put that? Just behind this car or on the tree line? There's no tree line. There is no tree line. Yeah, I would so. just say you leave everything against the house. And I'll yeah. just let that guy know. Yeah, let it work. Oh, man. Good times. Tenant just texted us and told us that... uh. They ordered some DoorDash and the driver ran over their mailbox. How about that? You got a new vehicle, huh? You're not driving the Ford Escape that's falling apart no more. It's going to be the door further down on the right hand side down there. The steps that have completely collapsed. Yeah. Man, that's the problem. It's cold. It's a little chilly. Sitting in there for too long. I'm smelling. Uh, yo, it's mostly poop. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's <coughs> the toilet. Yeah. <coughs> I almost threw up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours, so the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. The rest Vince. I get to redo the lock because I didn't know that basement door was open slash there. I didn't know there was a door at the top of the steps. 
Uh, neither. Yo, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this house was on fire. <laughs> yeah. Careful you step too. Yeah, I see. There's not a lot of floor. Well, that's cool. The biggest thing with like evictions, right? It, it's tenants that don't believe the landlord is actually going to go through court and actually kick them out. Like they have this like weird block in their head where they're like, nah, he said he's going to evict me, but he's just bluffing. He's really not actually going to throw everything I own in the street. And, and they believe that, right? And that's what leads them to fuck around, right? Park your stuff right there. Imagine how this place looks when it snows. Oh, dude. With everything being open. You mean beautiful? <laughs> Winter Wonderland? Did you say beautiful? <laughs> yeah. To go to the next show. Presumably. Yeah, actually, yeah just presumably the next. We didn't need the uh, lockbox code for this one. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of got what she was saying. I don't want to like film her face the whole time, but yeah, I saw you over there. I did, I think, get her in it, but is that just water? I think it's a box of water. You want a box <laughs> of water? You want to pull it up for me so I can get your live reaction? It smells bad. It does smell really bad. Ah. Uh... Oh, it's a dog bed. The dog bed covered in water. Who does that? I don't know. When I when I pinched it open a little bit, I saw the brown and was like, "Oh no, it is a dog." There's always a couple of nettles. Oh, dude, some needles. <laughs> Not by UPS, by like one of those big white trucks. So how do I, and is that a new house? Because we were moving into a new house, so if we waited till we moved, I mean, it's pretty weird that I can't, they're gonna be like, yeah, okay. Oh, he's got it. That's it, that's it, that's it. It's a full and a twin. <laughs> Dude. You're scaring everyone. You didn't scare me, but I was like, oh, hey, we're here to film. Yeah. You hear anyone snooping around? No. Should be able to very easily hear footsteps above us. Yeah, hey, be careful. The floor is soft as fuck. Whatever it is, let's make it quick. They got shoes here like they come back. A shopping cart with some used tires in it. Barely used. The fence looks great. Your yeah, TV. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Well, it's like they purposely move things into the way. So there's that. Nope. <laughs> Damn, is that a big ass bottle of fucking Remy Martin on the counter? What? Y'all got Remy Martin money, but you don't got rent money? Fuck. It's messed up. Oh, of course. No. Well, I guess, technically it could be worse. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Put it down. That's so, so, someone else will probably do that instead of uh, okay. blue. Okay. Cool, thanks. And... 
they can actually keep this portion. Of it. Thank you. You've been here, but do you know where the basement is? Is it a oh, common man. access? Or I don't think it, it has common access. It's through that middle unit, or there's a back door. Yeah, I'll show you. For the basement? Yeah. yeah. Back, back door. door. Yep. Wait, was it the TIN number? Uh, 303. Oh shit, there's a fucking door. Oh, there was a door here. I know she left her ID. I was about to pick it up. You see under by your left foot there on the inside? Do you see that nice little weed pen they left? Oh, this thing? Yep. Yeah. Which is a cheap internet one. It's a head pen. Not that I would know anything about that. No, that's just that thing I heard about. That's the thing I heard about on the internet. Oh. That's new. And do around here, you can see. Best no, life, dude. Right Hello. Oh, the hills have eyes too, yeah. bro. That's not fucking. That's not the right house to have this. Come on, bro. Hot plate, dude. This place is <laughs> fast. <laughs> Heading towards the back room if you're coming in. There's a lot of sitting in here. Yeah, this is all. Assuming this is all his. It's quite a bit of stuff. on the outside. I mean, if this was a horror movie, bro. We this. this is the kind of shit you walk in on in a horror movie. <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about, dude? How bad the that's exact. I mean, yeah, this is the kind of shit they want to see. Bro, that's how they built it. Where do these people buy these colors? Like, how do you even get? What do you? You just went to Home Depot and was like, let me get the bluest blue you have. I myself have made millions of dollars, but I ain't gonna lie to you folks, it all ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Section 8 tenants are animals. Section 8 tenants are savages. Section 8 tenants are heathens, man.
piled rows. I got the camera on my dash too, but it's <laughs> just like looking at the back yeah, of the cars. Right. Cause there's the list of, there's the sink. There's a outlet. There's a here's a part of a two twenty plug. Yeah, so the so stuff is over here. Up, somewhere over here. I don't know. To me it looks like the fire started right like, here. In that corner, yeah. Well, well one like thing is for certain boys, it was on fire at one point. Alright, I'm gonna need some privacy, boys. No smoke and no flames. Oh! The toilet seat's melted! No way, dude. Look at that. That's wicked. Got a nice find here, boys. This is what you want to see when you're walking through your property. Who's gonna please pick that up, dude? Not me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours, so the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. Bed is all sorts of fucked up, bro. I can say by looking at that box, it's not weed. What do you think this is? I don't know, but it's definitely not weed. I think it might be a pipe. It's definitely pills. I think it feels like it's just baggy after baggy. Watch this bag. Watch this be nothing. Here's a dime. Oh, dime bag. <laughs> it's a literal dime bag, dude. Don't do this at home. It's not safe. Gotta wear gloves if you're gonna be touching random substances. There's weed remnants. There is. Oh yeah, there was some weed. There is mergawongles. Could that be the reason? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. More weed remnants. It does kind of smell like the marijuana's now. Nothing? Yeah, this right. guy was just in here blazing at 420 every day. Good for him. 420 and repeat, baby! Did the move. Alright. What is it, man? Uh, just dirty. Just dirty. That right there? That's work. You gotta really fucking hate a wall to beat the shit out of it like that. Oh man, don't be coming back to this place. Yeah, I don't know if it's safe to go upstairs. Yeah, the stairs don't seem like there's like an animal up there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's raccoon. You can hear that shit? Yeah. That's why I gave it to someone. I designated someone a job. I said, put these on and listen. Oh, hey, man, how you doing? Just kidding. I think the bathroom's behind you right here. It is, yeah. Is it still there? No, it's just like right here in the, in the yard. Oh, what? Yeah, dude, poke your head out this window. It's just in the yard? Yeah, it's just right there. <laughs> For a free gas meter, dude. Nice. Is out there? I don't know why this place has anything, dude. Is that George Bush right here? So, like, you know, the properties where we actually screen the tenants and, and place the tenants into these properties, the eviction rate is like a tenth uh, of what you see on tenants that we inherit through one of those two scenarios. And it's because we run 100% no-nonsense business. We professionally screen everybody. We do not give deviations. We have standards. We stick to them. We never deviate from them. It is a no deviation, no nonsense policy, right? So like, you can give us any stop story in the world. If you don't check all the boxes, you don't get the fucking apartment. That's how it works. That's why we don't evict a lot of people. When I come back to this room, I'll show the ceiling and the window. Yeah, I'm aware of it. I'll leave it as a surprise. This room I really need the light for, because you can't see. All sorts of fucks from top to bottom. Yeah. I'll tilt up a little bit.
Come check this pad out, it's fucking killer! Alright, let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a nice feature. There's no... Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. So we're at three. Police department. Radio 703, we're checking the unit. Copy, checking 703. Police department. I understand what you're saying, but you gotta understand something, brother. Like, I'm just trying to work this out with you. This. I get that you're living here, right? But this is not your house, right? This is my house. No, nah, man, I'm gonna be paying, no. man. You guys can't no. be here, man. No, but you understand? I don't know what the shit is. No, you, you understand? This is actually my house, bro, and and you're not actually paying man, you for can't it. Can't be coming up so, here. So, hey, bro. Just Steal it, it. Bro, 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 look, look, look. I'm coming here trying to be cool, bro. I'm trying to be cool with you. I'm trying to be cool. Just this is just me trying to work something out with you. If if we gotta come back, it's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be us, bro. It's gonna be the cops, and there's gonna be a whole crew of people, and they're gonna be removing everything you own, bro. That's a real winner, this this area. This shit definitely gets a lot of water because everything in here is extremely saturated. Floor's really weak right here. Oh, th there's a tarp down. Oh, that's cool. Really? Oh, that actually ain't too bad. Typical lesson stuff behind them. All right, let's check out the inside, see what it looks like. Knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. We are knee deep in the crap, both literally and figuratively, when we are in the Section 8 space, okay? Nobody ends up on Section 8 just by happenstance. Nobody ends up on Section 8 by accident, okay? You end up on Section 8 because you have a history of making irresponsible, poor life decisions. That's cool. Get that last, so. So much shit in this fucking shithole house. You know, some of my best tenants are crackheads. Some of my worst tenants are crackheads. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh no, fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go, internet, there's needles there.
It's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. For starters, before I start looking around for pictures, this is pamphlet this is for you. And then this is a sheet where you can say that you have received it, print, sign, and date. It's crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. When other people are out there planning for the future, making responsible choices, your typical Section 8 tenant is not doing that, okay? Think about it. They get their check, they're spending it on freaking lottery tickets, cigarettes, beer, weed, going out, having fun. They're not saving for the future. Pulling out because they're not ready for family planning? Hell no, you don't see a lot of that. That's where you get all this entitled group of people living on food stamps, government cheese, and that Section 8 stuff, okay? The creepy fucking chair up there at the top of the steps. I mean, you think That's you can... And the camera won't adjust to it? Oh, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Feet, if, you're, if you want to go, you can go, but... Yeah, I'll just go to, like, the top. Yeah, yeah and just do, like, a 360 up there. Yeah. You got the headphones You are on the lightest. Yeah, just get as much footage as you can. I think this is a good one. Just Jesus the Christ, this is the most narrow fucking staircase I've ever seen. Look how narrow the staircase is. Look at that. Sorry, this is just this is the uh, unbelievable. You've been here, but do you know where, where the basement is? Is it a uh, common access? Or I don't think it, it has common access. It's through that middle unit, or there's a back door. Yeah, I'll show for you. the basement. Yeah, yeah. The back door. Yep. Uh, oh shit! There's a fucking oh, there was a door here. That's how you know it was put together well when it immediately falls apart. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.